Mr. Tom Moody. It's an eight minute stop frame uh, animated film about a character called Tom Moody on stage in the moment where he's about to sing and it's kind of his inner turmoil as he kind of summons the courage to open his mouth and sing. H Hello? It's a short film about two boys who are uh, playing football together um, and when their football goes missing it gets returned to them by a strange and unexpected character. It's the Basonia who's a, a shy, awkward fishmonger and she's just, she just prefers fish to people and uh, so she's not very social. And, and there's, some, there's a kind of undertone of sexual and sensualness with the fish that she has. She keeps them in a bath and she's naked with them and stuff. And then one day, a new fish delivery man comes along and he looks like a rainbow trout. <laughs> when I was really young, I've always loved drawing people and characters and, and films. And, and it was a really great way of making films as a, you know, someone in a room, you can do any story you want, like an action movie or a, wherever you wanted to make. It was, it was there. I always knew writing was the way forward for me, but I just didn't know how to make it a career or whether I could make it a career. And then I went to the NFTS and, yep, that's where I'm at now. With watches of Halloween. Like when I started making I Am Tom Moody, I barely done any animation and I'd done very little filmmaking I was really finding my way as I watch it now I can see at the beginning how how much more rigid my like choice of shots and the way the camera moves is and then by the end of the film the camera's bouncing around much more and I can see I'm starting to get kind of confident at using a camera like that Be very realistic about how much time it's going to take yeah. uh, because we initially thought it was going to take us three months uh, and it ended up taking two years. I also think that um, the route that we took in terms of not going for any funding was actually quite a viable way of making a film. I think that if you can find freelance work and support yourself between those jobs, it is actually very possible to, uh, to self-fund your films. But it's hard and it takes time and it takes a lot of effort and yeah, it's not easy. Like a bird is born with a song. Try and make something that's um, like personal, that's unusual, that only you could make. Like make something about that's about you. Like don't get caught up in all the other animated films and trying to be like them. Wants to be sung. For me personally, it's finding something that you can be 100% confident that you're going to spend a whole year making every day of your life, and that's, that's the hard part. But then once you get into it, it's, it's great fun. Anybody who's doing a very long-term project like this is you do need some chunks of time where you're really work, working on it in a focused way. I think if your film is original and fun enough, and yeah, people, people, will, people will help you. I think just be prepared to work hard and grab every opportunity that comes by and uh, just go for it.